So I got something in the mail today. These nuts? No, it is not that. It is the Yeezy 350 V2 Boost in the zebra colorway and today i really want to talk about yeezy 350 v2s and honestly if you should be buying them in 2020 let's get into the video so the yeezy 350 v2 boost in the zebra colorway was one of the most coveted colorways even by myself personally when these first dropped i really wanted them these are one of my favorite yeezy v2 silhouettes i think the beluga was probably my favorite one even though it wasn't the most wearable and like i can't even really think of one outfit that i could make them into that was still and still is my favorite colorway of the yeezy 350 v2 this one is probably a close like third in my opinion i think it goes to beluga then the bread the black with the red writing on it and then i would say the zebra probably right after that but overall the Yeezy 350 V2 is a fantastic shoe. I definitely think that this will be a classic shoe. I think that this kind of is the perfect athleisure shoe. I think it's just the perfect thing you can put on with a pair of sweats. And without dragging this video on for such a super long time, if, is the Yeezy 350 V2 a really good shoe to buy in 2020? In my opinion, yes. But... There's a big butt here. And no, I'm not talking about Kim Kardashian's butt here. So the Yeezy 350 V2, in my opinion, has gotten really diluted with a ton of like really meh colorways. And I think they're doing what they kind of did with the NMD when it was really popular. It really, for me, like an NMD, for example, really lost a lot of its power when NMD R2s came out. Like I honestly resold those and made money off them. But literally the day it dropped, there was no resale value. No one wanted them. And kind of at that point for me, I kind of saw all the R1s at that point not really selling well. They kind of mass produced them in a bunch of really crappy colorways. And in my opinion, they kind of lost a lot of their power. I still have two pairs of NMD R1s that I keep for more sentimental value. Or I just know that I can't get as much from them as I paid for them. And the Yeezy 350 V2s are kind of going down that same route. A pair of Belugas, I think, used to go for almost $1,000. And now they're like $600. That's a shoe that hasn't released anything at all. But I feel like it's lost a lot of its power. And by power, I just mean resale value. Now, that's not a bad thing at all. I definitely think that when Kanye said he wanted everybody to own a pair of these, he really meant for it to be that way and in my opinion the zebra is one of the best colorways of it still it's very loud it's very kanye-esque and it really is the quintessential kanye colorway in my opinion for the 350 v2 now before anybody asked me how i bought a pair of zebras for the price i did i bought these on the adidas restock that just happened like a week ago and honestly i bought these to resell i'd be lying if i said that i didn't already sell these these to me just i don't need them in my wardrobe i have a ton of other stuff that really fits my new style that i had that i didn't have a year ago a year ago i was definitely more of a hype beast in that sense of just liking stuff for the hype of it rather than me actually liking it and i'm thinking about it it's probably like two years ago that i was kind of in that hype beastie world nowadays i buy stuff because i like it and it fits kind of like how i like to wear daily stuff like right now i'm wearing a stance shirt that cost me decent amount of money with an all saints flannel that i got for christmas that cost a decent amount of money and to me this is well worth it versus a pair of shoes that honestly don't really fit my wardrobe that much anymore and with selling these i honestly might buy a pair to match my wife but we'll see on that one just to keep it short simple to the point yes i bought a pair of zebras yes i resold them Yes, I think I made around 70 to $80 by literally just charging my card and then having it shipped here and then driving the UPS. And now I get to make this video and show you guys the 350v2 and the Zebra colorway that I haven't actually seen in hand. Like in, in hand, I mean, even when they first dropped the first and second time, and I think even third time, I was never able to get my hands on a pair. And to actually have this in my hand, it feels like an accomplishment that deserves like one of those like Xbox awards for. But super happy to say that I finally got one, but then now I don't really care for them. If you're looking for any guides on 350 V2s, Seth Fowler makes a ton of videos that are way better than whatever I could do. And to answer the question, should you be buying any Yeezy 350 V2 in 2020 in any colorway? In my opinion, yeah. Go buy whatever colorway you want. The prices aren't going to be too bad. If you really want a more hyped colorway, honestly, the fakes have gotten extremely good. I don't endorse buying fix or condone if you want to buy one um but just know that those options are there and they are extremely good and for something like this that everybody pretty much has a pair now and there's no hype to it it's up to you at the end of the day 
I don't have anything back here that is fake, but it is an option and I've actually been tempted to buy a pair for a super long time to make a video about it. Just to actually see in hand what is the differences between this, like a real pair and a fake pair. And if you guys wanna know about that, let me know in the comments below and I can do a fake versus real video. I still have a real pair of 350s here and a real pair of 700s here, but these ones will be going out tomorrow, so. That's my opinion on it. I don't I don't really care about them. Still too much hype for me with 350. So yeah. And honestly to me, they kind of lost their unique factor too, beyond just being a little bit hyped up. Whoever bought this, you're gonna love it. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks for stopping by this video. If you liked what you saw today, even though it's kind of probably kind of crappy, um, honestly. But if you liked what you saw today, you're probably gonna like another video I do in probably the next few days way better than this one. And if you like this video, please leave a like down below. It really helps out a channel like myself. And I just wanna say everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and just have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.